Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna have the Alexa LED projector. Let's see what this is all about. Let me show you what we have going on in the box. Here we go, we have a user manual. We have an HDMI cord, power cord, a remote, and then we also have RCA cables, which I'm not really sure what we would actually use this for, but it's probably a purpose. And then we have an adapter here as well. Last but not least, the most important part of this whole package is going to be the projector. So here it is. As you can see, it's super small, easy to take with you. So this might be nice to take with you on a vacation or move it from room to room. You can also put this in places that you may not be able to put a TV. Maybe this will be sufficient enough does say it's 1080p quality so let's see what it actually does we're gonna be using the wall behind me here it's our dining room wall to project the image from the projector the projector is about a little over 12 feet away from the wall on the kitchen counter and the wall behind me is going to be 12 feet a little over 12 feet across from the wooden shelf there to the end of the wall here and then a little over nine feet tall. So that gives you an idea of what the space is that we're using to project the image onto. As you can see from the images, the screen is rather large. It's about 124 inches or so with the projector being 12 feet away from the wall. On the edges though, you can see it gets very blurry and out of focus. I'm guessing it's because the further away you are, the blurrier it gets. This is only I can think, and I guess if you get closer to the wall, it's gonna be more sharp around those edges. It's still watchable. However, if you want that crisp image, this probably isn't it. But for what it is, I think it's great. I wasn't expecting a thousand dollar projector picture quality for you know under a hundred dollars. This is pretty good. I wouldn't complain because of that price. You know, if you're paying the premium prices for projector, you want that image, whether it's in the middle, on the outside, on the edges, wherever, wherever it is, you want that to be perfect. And just keep in mind that I'm just shooting against this white wall. I don't have the screen. And with the screen, the image is probably gonna be even sharper and look much better. So overall, I think, it is a great value. It's nice and portable, it's nice and light. You can connect your phone to it uh, and send the image to the projector that way. I didn't think it was the greatest quality or the sound either, but I do recommend using an HDMI. Um, I guess you can use like a Chromecast, uh, maybe Roku Stick, I believe they do HDMI. I'm not quite sure about how those connect, but I'm guessing HDMI. I'm using the Fire Stick and the sound itself was actually pretty loud. Um, I wouldn't say it's, you know, if you have a lot of people talking and, and such, maybe watching a game, then you're not really gonna hear the, uh, the sound. If it's a couple of people or a few people, uh, you should be all right. Image quality with the Fire Stick is I think better also than with an iPhone. Um, you can also, I believe it has USB a on there so if you wanted to connect that if you have some videos on there that you want to project one thing i'm not a big fan of with the actual projector so right now i'm using a tripod a small little tripod um, that you would normally put like little small little lights on the screw or the threads for the projector are kind of off on the side which i'm guessing if they were in the middle they'd be hitting something important um, but what happens is kind of the weight shifts a little bit here. So you have to adjust a little bit more and it's not always completely level. Um, I would think that if it was right in the middle, you can get that level right off the bat. Not the biggest of issues, um, cause you just kind of tilt it and then you're, you're good to go, but just something to note. Overall, I've been kind of uh, working on this thing for you know, about a week or so. And I think for what it is, for the price, it's, really good under a hundred dollars 1080p image if you can live with 
the edges not being completely in focus. And like I said, if you get closer, it'll probably be a much better image. Then it's pretty good. You know, you don't need a 120, 120 plus inch screen. Uh, maybe you just want a 70 or 80. You can probably get that to be a more clear image. But if you want that bigger screen, it's going to be not that clear. And maybe even if you do get closer, I haven't tried it, we're gonna try it. Uh, it does get or it doesn't get clear. We'll have to find out. Um, but I wanted to see like how big I can get it and still be watchable um, because we do have a 70 inch. Um, so I wanna see if you can get anything bigger than that with this projector and you can. So if you wanted to watch a game or something, uh, obviously it does have to be complete darkness to get a good image. Uh, as you can see right behind me, you really can't see much of what's happening. I do just have the overhead uh, recessed lighting on at about 80% 80, 80 I think I have it on right now. It is dark, so if I were to turn the lights off, now that it's complete dark, you can see that so much better. Let's get this closer to the wall. Let's see if I can get this to be a little bit clearer. So it's a little bit better, not that much better. I mean, I know what these uh, icons are. So as I move the projector closer to the wall, you can see that the image does get smaller, um, but not as, doesn't get any more focus or doesn't get any more sharper. Um, on the side, there is a little, um, little slider that will help you focus it a little bit more. And as you can see, it does work. It does get a little bit better, but not 100% better. So it's not perfect, even closer to the wall. However, it's, it's fine, it, it works, it looks good. Um, again, I know I keep saying this, but for what it is, for under $100, it's a great little device something you can take with you on a, on a field trip, on a field trips, uh, on, a, on a vacation, or you know, to uh, do a presentation, anything like that, you can definitely use this thing to project something much bigger than just perhaps using your phone or your laptop. If you have you know, a dark room, nice light walls, or a screen, and then you're off and running, let me know what you think of this projector and would you get a budget projector like this? And if you've liked this video, give it a nice thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't. Comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all, put them down in the description below. And like always, keep on living a modern lifestyle through technology. Peace, bye. See you on the one that comes after this video. The next one. Let's go.